Reg Harnish is the CEO of Grey Castle Security, and he's here to tell us how to keep your information secure this holiday season as you shop online. Reg, thank you so much. Yeah, for good to be here. Us. Thanks, Dan. Hey, listen, we love it when you come here. You talk about things that I think, you know, obviously is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger in this world, which is, you know, internet security. Uh, what, you know, what should we watch out for first and foremost this year? Uh, any new threats? Well, I, you know, I think the threats are more of the same, but there are a lot more of them. Uh, that said, I think in some ways we've become more accustomed to shopping online. We've heard about breaches, you know, as a as a general society, I think we're more aware of the types of threats. That doesn't mean we're necessarily getting better. The problem is we're all getting better at cybersecurity, companies and individuals alike, but our adversaries are getting better faster. So we still need to be diligent. The, the same threats that you know we faced last year, we face this year. In some cases, more they're more sophisticated, but it's important that we're aware of these these threats. What are some of the uh, you know what would you tell folks out there in order to to stay secure? Because you know you have Cyber Monday coming up after obviously right. Black Friday, so they'll be shopping online. People will be online doing this. What? How do you keep your information a little bit more secure? Um, well, I think there's a number of things, and to narrow it down to a list of three is always difficult for us. But, for example, you want to make sure that you're shopping at reputable websites like Amazon, Walmart, you know, the, the websites that you recognize, you, you know the logo, you've done business with them before. You want to make sure you're, use, you're looking for secure transactions, which is the HTTPS and the lock icon. Uh, you want to check out as a guest. You want to use your credit card, not your debit card. You want to check your statement. There's a whole bunch of other things, but I also think that this time of year, because we're doing so much more online, we're getting more email from these retailers. So it's really important that we understand, we can identify something called a phishing email, where it, it, it looks like it may be from Amazon or PayPal or our bank. It's got a link. It asks us to do something. But what happens is that is really the, the major attack that we see today, the major intrusion that we see today. So we, you have to be able to understand what phishing is. You have to be able to under, uh, identify phishing emails and know what to do. Now, those stores wouldn't ask you to do something, right, or click on a link or anything like that, would they? Well, unfortunately, we're still seeing that. Less and less, I think, good retailers are, are more responsible about the email that they send to their customers, but we still see it. Right? Let's face it. I mean, how many emails will you get today with a link in it? All right, it'll be countless. So. It's up to us as the consumers of those emails to make sure that we, we can identify them and we know how to react. That's kind of tough, isn't it? Because, you know, the, I mean, a phishing email could be a link there that you go somewhere yep. and it might look legitimate. Well, and even more so in the holidays, we're all busy. Right. You know, we cut corners. We're not, you know, we're not quite as focused on the, the task at hand. And we're getting more email, right? So during the holidays, you just get more because you're shopping online. You're getting receipts. You're getting shipping confirmations. You're getting emails from, from FedEx and other other you know, shipping companies, so it just makes us that more, that much more likely to be exposed to these types of things. Is it a little more secure now to keep your your credit card number on that merchant site, or should you not do that? I, you know, I still think you know if you don't have to save it, why why expose the information in the first place? More more and more retailers are offering a checkout as guest option, so that you don't have to save the information at all, uh, which we recommend highly, of course. Uh, so the, the fewer places that your credit card information is, the, the more likely that you'll be uh, safe. So the better idea here is to you know try to find a uh, a checkout that says, hey, this is a guest, not you know you're not saving your information. Yeah. Well, we say the yeah. the best way to secure an asset is to not have it at all. <laughs> so if you don't have to expose that data, if you don't have to save it in multiple places, then let's not. You know, since you are a, 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 a security expert, cyber security expert, I got to ask you about this. You know, um, uh, you've seen uh, the anonymous. Uh, uh, folks that have come come out. Well, they haven't come out. They're anonymous, but they're 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 fighting a, a kind of a different front on this war on terrorism. What what's your take on this? Yeah, well, it's always interesting when the enemy of your enemy is your enemy, uh, and and we see these different facets and these factions fighting over the same you know internet territory. But anonymous, if you look back in history, every time they've announced some targeted attack on an organization, they've been at least partially successful. Now I'm not sure of their motivations here, honestly, but I'm sure they're selfish and they're not it's not that anonymous has changed sides and is looking out for us. Uh, I believe they will be successful, but the result of that is is really it's unknown. It's questionable. I'm not sure what the motivation is. But it's very interesting. It is it? always interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. We have to recognize that in cybercrime, there's a huge network, a huge 
ecosystem of people that are working together out there to honestly steal money from Americans or steal intellectual property from the U.S. government, and it's become very sophisticated uh, and very complex. All right. Reg Harnish from Gray Castle Security. Always Thank great so to much. be here. Thanks, Dan. Always good to see you, my friend. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Likewise. Happy holidays. Thank you. More information on this on our website at WNYT.com.